concussions are a concern for athletes at all levels. It's being called an epidemic. ER visits for concussions doubled for kids 8 to 13 and risen nearly 200% for teens ages 14 to 18. This according to the Centers for Disease Control. And now the NFL is enlisting the help of the military to create a device that could one day protect your young athlete. Jamie, we got a rare behind-the-scenes look at that research taking place right here in our own backyard at the Aberdeen Proving Ground. An Army research team is one of seven groups awarded grant money from the NFL, Under Armour, and GE for the Head Health Challenge 2. Now, they are Army soldier protection experts using their expertise for another team. You'd expect to see an experiment like this at the Army Research Laboratory. From about two feet up, a soldier's helmet crashing to the ground. Inside that helmet, they're collecting data, looking for ways to improve the padding and minimize the spikes that often result in brain trauma and concussions. But you probably wouldn't expect to see this. Researchers at the Aberdeen Proving Ground are hoping Roger, as in Roger that, will get them to score with their concussion research. Trying to slow down the head so it doesn't strike the ground with as much velocity. The injury that we're focused on is a head to ground induced concussion. What we're focused on is if someone falls onto their back and then their head will tend to whip backwards and strike the ground. The NFL awarded Dr. Eric Wetzel and his team a half million dollar grant. These Army researchers have to create a device that will help win the war on brain traumas. If we can control that type of head motion, reduce that whipping action when the head strikes the ground, we can uh, reduce the severity of what is the acceleration on the head and the brain and hopefully reduce the, uh, the injury to the brain. This mixture put Wetzel's team of Army soldier protection experts ahead in the game. Ten years ago, he developed this sheer thickening fluid. Its texture changes depending on the level of stress. They hope the fluid, when placed in specially designed tethers, will lessen the risk of injury and allow athletes to keep their mobility. At low speeds, it's easy to stretch. In a quick, jerky action, it'll resist and tighten. When I want to move my head side to side, up and down, it will allow that type of motion. But during a very violent event, such as this head whipping, uh, when you strike the ground, the straps will sort of actuate, transform into a stiff state slow down the head and reduce the striking velocity as it hits the ground. We have high-speed video cameras and we also have motion tracking system so we can watch very accurately how the head, the helmet, and the body are moving and responding to the impact. They also realize the impact of their work. This is a huge national problem. Army Colonel Dallas Hack is the brain health coordinator of the Army's Medical Command, or MEDCOM, at Fort Detrick. Since 2001, the number of brain injuries in the military is, out, is well over 200,000 people. Um, coming back from the battlefield, it's, you know, probably 30 to 40,000. The colonel says they're invisible wounds. Long-term headaches uh, they can have uh, where they, their memory isn't as good. Some of them have more severe issues like balance and gait, a la lack of sleep. With a brain injury, your brain is less adaptable to be able to even think correctly. As a medical doctor, Colonel Hack has seen the damage associated with brain trauma. He believes the research coming out of APG is critical. It can save lives and improve the quality of life from the gridiron to the battlefield to the Little League. It's the same age group as our people. There's so much in common. And all of us interested in actually solving this and, and reducing the impact of this disease on the American public. Through their experiments and collecting data, Wetzel's team has a year to create a functioning prototype, a device that will hopefully keep NFL players' heads in the game and one that could also keep our soldiers safe on the field. Now, the ARL prototype has to show that it can reduce the likelihood or severity of a concussion. Now, if their data proves that, then they're going to have an opportunity for another grant to turn it into a useful commercial product. Yeah. They're doing some amazing work in that lab. All right, now you're seeing a commercial product for our kids to wear it now. If it's cool, these kids are going to strap them on. No problem. What are they going to look like? Well, to get it to be cool, they got to call on Kevin Plank. Of and course. the folks from Under Armour, they're actually going to be involved to make it more stylish. So it's something that the athletes will want to wear. So not just functional, but something, like you said, that's stylish and cool and actually practical. Well, when's this all going to 
They got a year to okay. make the product, right. then another year to come up with a prototype. And they do have a prototype, but it's top secret. Yeah. They wouldn't show me that. Of course. It's the military. That's right. Thank you very much, Kelly.